Hi, this is Russ Buecher from Controlman Icon. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up the focusing settings on your camera so it works properly with Controlman Icon. And as you've probably seen, on your camera body, there's a lot of different settings you can set to control how it focuses. Automatic settings, manual settings, you name it, it can do it. And we need to ensure that those settings on the body are set up properly for the focusing to work correctly in Controlman Icon. Now I'm just going to bring up the help here. I have it on the screen right now. It's just under help and tutorials and focusing. And uh, the things we need to do is, is first of all, we need to ensure that we have the autofocus switch set to autofocus on the lens and the body. Now that autofocus is used. If you were to click here, autofocus and shoot, it needs to be able to autofocus. And in live view here, we also need the autofocus turned on on the body and the lens. So when you do autofocus like this, that it functions properly. Okay, I'm going to close live view. So once you have that set up on the lens and the body, now you have to tell your camera to be able to capture an image without being in focus. Now, normally that is setting it to the AF-S mode. And it's consult your manual. Most Nikon bodies use this particular mode. I know the, uh, I think the D5000 was a little bit different. And uh, so you ensure that you set it up that it does not require focus before capturing an image. And you can easily test that when it's not tethered. Just try taking a shot of something completely out of focus. And if the shutter clicks, then you have the correct setting. In addition to that, mode, you need to set it to the priority selection to release. And that means that it doesn't matter if it's in focus or not. So AFS, release. The next thing is to ensure that you use a lens that is a CPU lens. And most Nikon lenses have this. It's basically got a little computer in that lens. And there's a lot of third-party lenses for Nikon that also have CPUs. Those third-party lenses usually do not have the full range of capabilities as a Nikon lens. And the CPU in them is not identical to the Nikon lens. So sometimes the functionality needed to focus using these third-party lenses is not there. So you just want to ensure that you have a compatible CPU lens and any of the Nikon lenses will work. It doesn't have to be a lens that has the focusing motor internally. It could be still the screw-driven one where the focusing motor is in the body itself. Well, that will work just fine. And that's it. That's how you set up Troma Nikon for the correct settings for focusing. Happy tethering.